morning peoples nothing like starting out a video and immediately getting cut off by some jerk who's just weaving through traffic and he just weaved and cut off another person and are you gonna go up you can do it you can do it and another person no turn signals no nothing just weaving i f hate assholes <laughs> Anyways, sorry. <laughs> I, ah, maybe that should be the theme of the video today. I hate stupid people. Oh, I hate stupid people. I really do. Especially the, the willfully ignorant and the just shove your heads in the sand and pretend it's all going to be okay type of people. It's not how life works. You are not the center of the world. Everything does not revolve around you just because you think something should be one way does not mean that's how it actually is. And I'm well aware that my way of thinking, that line could be used against me as well, okay? I'm not dumb. I'm not blind. I, I, I'm not willfully ignorant. I understand. Okay, I understand. However, this world is filled with so many people that believe what they want to believe doesn't matter what the truth is it doesn't matter what the facts say it doesn't matter what's going on in the world they have made up in their mind how the world works and how things are going to be and what's what and they have no desire to ever open their eyes and see it from another perspective no desire whatsoever it's frustrating it's really frustrating especially when you know a bunch of people like that I know you were raised to believe one specific thing, and I know that your entire world is one big giant bubble. You live your life in an echo chamber. You live your life where everything around you confirms everything you've been told, and anything that doesn't fit in is evil. Anything that doesn't fit in must be wrong because everything in your echo chamber keeps echoing back everything you've been taught and everything you were saying so it must be true it's the only thing that can be true why because it's the only thing you have ever heard in your entire life it is what has been pounded into your brain since childhood so you believe it without question even though the rest of the world questions it and the rest of the world says that you were wrong you still believe it and that's not okay you need to open your mind up and see what is out there. You need to open your mind up and see how the rest of the world works and find out that there's a chance that you could be fucking wrong. But instead, this world chooses to pick something that they believe in, shove their hands and the, heads in the sand, and just fucking, that's it. I'm done. That's what I believe. You can't change my mind. No amount of facts, no amount of nothing is ever going to change my mind. This is how the way of the world works. La 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 That's how you all look. That is how you all look. When you refuse to open your eyes and see that the world doesn't work the way that you think it works and refuse to see that there could possibly be another way for the world to work, you look like an idiot. Eyes closed, hands in your, fingers in your ears, go la 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 la, you can change my mind. That's how you look. That's how you look. And it's stupid. It is so stupid. That... There's such a bigger world than outside of your echo chamber. There's such a bigger world out there than what you believe. There's a whole huge world out there that you can't even imagine. And you refuse to accept that something that is different from what you've been taught could be okay. You refuse to accept that any th feelings, any thoughts, any desires that you have that go outside of what you were raised on could possibly be real. That you break yourself like I did. I spent my entire life being told one thing. So therefore, believing that all the thoughts in my head, that all the desires I had, that all the feelings I had, that everything about me, who I am, was wrong and sinful, and I hated myself. I spent my entire childhood, teenage years, disgusted with myself, trying to make myself out to be somebody else, because who I was was wrong, fundamentally. Who I was was wrong on every single level for what I was raised. All of my feelings, all of my emotions, all of my beliefs. Everything was wrong. I shouldn't feel that way because Jesus says I'm okay. And 
and so I should be okay and and I shouldn't feel that way because the Bible says that's wrong and I shouldn't do this because these people say that's wrong and I should so much about who I am and who I have been was taught that I was a sinner I was a huge fucking sinner and everything I was doing was sinful and everything I was doing was wrong and I was going to hell for how I feel and I needed to repent for how I feel I used to joke that I was this big chameleon, right? I could fit into any group. I could just make myself just kind of fit into the background. Nobody would notice me, get along with anybody. And nobody knew just quite how much I meant that. I wasn't just fitting in with the preps and the geeks and the goth and the... No, I was fitting in with an entire echo chamber worth of world and they had no real clue just who I actually was and how much I hated myself and how much I wanted to be anybody other than me. I hate willfully ignorant people who refuse to accept that what they believe could be wrong on fundamental levels and that it is more important to accept people for who they are. It is more important to accept the real person than to follow your religious beliefs and condemn them for being who they are and to hate on them and persecute them and oh! spent my entire life being told that who I am on a deep inside level, who the real me is, was wrong and I'm done with it. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. I, I may be broken. I may need some help putting the pieces back together, but there's nothing actually wrong with being me. Nothing. I can be who I want to be. I am a good, genuine, decent person. I take care of others. I put others before myself. I do everything I was raised to do, but I changed it and I accept people for who they are as themselves, regardless of what your religion teaches you, regardless of what your background teaches you, regardless of your echo chamber, you should be you always. Be yourself. You be you. As long as you are not hurting other people, and as long as you are not hurting yourself, be you. To the fullest extent that you can be, be a good, genuine person and be yourself. I don't know why that's so important to me today, but I had to get that out. Oh, all because somebody cut me off this morning and I said I hated stupid people. Anyways, I'm at work and I should probably go inside. I hope you all have a great and wonderful weekend. I hope you can live your life as you. Do me a favor, comment below, tell me how you are, who you are on the inside, who you really are as a real person, and who everybody else thinks you are. What is the difference? How are you a chameleon? I love you all. Have a wonderful day. And remember, you are not so alone.